hello, good morning. It's four in the afternoon. And that's just how my day's been going. I'll get into that in a second. Listen, you wanna hear a little car time story time? Um, <laughs> I was on my way to get in the car to start filming this video. I leave my room, I drop my tripod. Something breaks off of it, slices my finger open. Not really, more like a weird metal type of paper cut. Like, what is that about? So I'm like, okay, let me go get this piece of metal out of my thumb. So I go to clean it up, I wash my hand. I go to put peroxide on it, because that's what you do with like a cut. That's what my mom told me. And um, as I was putting the peroxide bottle away, dropped that that started leaking all over the floor so i had to figure that out then i went to go get a band-aid as i'm putting on the band-aid it's co completely see-through band-aid that folds in on itself like houdini trying to get out of a box folds in on itself then i'm struggling with that get the band-aid on guess what i didn't even put the band-aid on the cut i put it right below it so this band-aid is now a fashion statement because it is doing nothing for my thumb besides that i'm having a great day sorry i look like actual garbage like I got hit by a truck because <laughs> I got no sleep last night like maybe two hours I slept in 10 minute increments because I was successfully but I was trying to edit a video for a very short deadline for a project I was working on and I had to submit it before I went to work this morning at 6 30 a.m so I slept in 10 minute increments as I was editing <laughs> So I feel just off today, just kind of slow. I kept, I keep forgetting where things are. Like I put the bandaid on wrong, you know, stuff like that. My day has just been weird. Also, this is being filmed like pre early in December. And here's why we are on our way. This is what, this is what the whole story time is supposed to be about. We are on our way. I am going to pick up some toys to donate for Toys for Tots. Yes, I'm excited. First of all, um, I did a couple of these like toys for tots you, know, you just donate toys to tots for like less fortunate kids um, I did something like this in high school. We like did one where where we actually did like <laughs> Two high schoolers teamed up like in groups It was like this or big organized event and we like went around with a kid and they got to pick out their own toys That was really fun. Obviously with COVID everything is like restricted nowadays and it's just it's it's not what it is but I wanted to do something nice for the holidays for someone else and I mean, it's been a pretty good year for me. And I, I feel bad that all my PO box videos are like me getting stuff. Like I wanna give back. So I'm gonna go pick up some toys for the Toys for Tots, except the donation boxes in my town, they close and pick up tomorrow. Like pick up the toys. So we gotta go do it today. And the place I'm dropping off at, which is the library, they close at seven. So we have three hours to go do this, but I'm losing sunlight. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go pick out toys. Also, I haven't gone toy shopping. I could have done this online, but I have not gone toy shopping in so long. That sounds so much fun just to go pick out, just to go like a kid, like a kid back in like Toys R Us, like a kid in a candy store, just like picking out whatever you wanna buy. I kind of looked up some images of stuff that they wanted people to donate. I'm just gonna try and follow that. So that should be fun. Okay, I just pulled in. I parked so far, cause it's nuts. There's so many people here. I'm just gonna be in, be out. We're getting toys. So what is that guy carrying? Okay, well, it's none of my business. Okay, in and out, quick as a bunny. Up to it, like a Christmas bunny. Okay, bye. Queen Elsa of Erin now. Okay, I just got back in the car. I couldn't really film a lot because there was other people around and there was like a worker in the aisles with me, but I must've walked the toy aisle, I don't know, like seven times. I'm so out of sync of like what kids like and what's cool. I was like, I didn't see any Winnie the Pooh stuff and I love Winnie the Pooh. So I was like, okay, that's not cool anymore. Um, and then when I left, I bought like a little over like $200 worth of stuff. And when I left, the guy was like, can I check your receipt? And I was like, yeah, you can. He like thought I was being sketchy because he didn't check anybody else's receipt. And I was like, yeah, you totally can. But I'm not like I was stealing anything. Like I'm doing charity stuff. 
oh uh, yeah but i'm yeah but i might be stealing the toys for the kids whatever i'm gonna i'm gonna go run this stuff right now okay i'm at the library i just called them and i was like i have a lot of toys to donate um he's like yeah i'm gonna find a cart <laughs> i think he's coming out right now did he bring a cart i don't know if he did I just dropped off the toys. But yeah, I just don't like filming in public. I feel like I was being sketchy in the store and that's why he was probably asking to see my receipt. And I was by myself buying like $200 worth of toys. I don't know, it was just kind of weird. Um, <laughs> But so for the toys, I went with like a classic like Hot Wheels set. You're gonna see all my town's Christmas lights in the background. I'm kind of impressed. But yeah, I went with like some classic Hot Wheels toys. I got like this cool dinosaur. I tried to get stuff that was bright colors, like stuff that would be fun, you know, fun to open. Um, they weren't accepting anything stuffed animal wise. So I tried to stay away from everything with fur. But for girls, there was like this cool cashier kid and like this frying pan, like with like a, a hamburger type of stuff in it. Um, I, you know, I just tried to go for really interactive toys, like stuff that would spark your imagination. And I don't know what kids play with, but anything that it's not just the toy itself, like you can use your imagination and like play with it that way. So yeah, I donated all that. Feels good. It was a very accomplishing day. I got some good news besides that going on. So it was a good day. I'm finishing up these cactus, just toys, cactus ornaments that I'm doing. So I painted these yesterday, took the things off, had them sitting on paint brushes as you saw in the video. And then, they're cute, right? And then I put a face on this one and put little black X's down the side. I'm gonna add white detail on the eyes to make them pop. And then you do that and that's it. That's a little cactus ornament. I'm just gonna glue it in here. How come my stuff never looks like this stuff in the pictures? I wonder if I should add more of the X's. Does it need more? We could try. Should I put a line of the X's down the middle or is that gonna ruin it? I feel like it needs, otherwise it looks weird. Okay, not bad, it looks cute. I'm just gonna add the little white dots. We should be good to go. Otherwise I have this other one that we could do. This one I'm like, do I dare add black to it or should I put white paint on it to make it really pop? I'm thinking white paint. That just is more work for me. I could do it upside down. Let me figure it out, hold on. I am waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up. That's how he looks. This one's way cuter than the girl one. Something about her eyes, the dots on her eyes do not sit right. They're like both oddly shaped, which there's nothing wrong with that, but it, not as, not as aesthetically pleasing as this one. So I'm gonna, I only have one of these small pots. So I'm gonna glue this one to that with hot glue. Now all of these ones in the pictures have little flowers on them. Almost every single one of the cactuses in this thing has flowers. I could cut the flower out of that or I could cut the flower out of that. But alloy, my cactus does not have a flower. So I don't think, I don't think we need flowers, but I did find these mini bows. I thought maybe we could add, I could like hot glue on a mini bow. I just don't like it. It's like too much. I really like this. This is just like pleasing to me. I think I'm just gonna leave it. I should put alloy on the pot though. That would be cute. 